Hey, today me and Bubble Bee has decided to split the participation. While Bubble Bee is in the story session, I'm going to take care of the memory voice. Hmm, I have to be more creative than Bubble Bee. What can I do? Hmm. Idea. Here is a flower with a memory verse written on it. Friends, you have to come one by one and say the memory verse. After saying the memory verse, each one of you should fold one petal. So we are going to run our timer and see how fast our friends are going to finish it. Okay, the time starts now. Bless on the merciful for the shall obtain mercy Matthew 5 7 Bless are the merciful for the shall obtain mercy Matthew 5 7 Blessed are the Merciful for they shall obtain mercy. Matthew 5 7. Blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy. Matthew 5 7. Blessed are the merciful for the shall obtain mercy. Mercy Matthew 5 7 Bless are the merciful for the shall of pen mercy Matthew 5 7 Blessed are the merciful for the shall of pen mercy Matthew 5 7 Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Matthew 5 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Matthew 5 7. Time over! Time over! That's a wonderful way for all of us to memorize the words. I hope our activity will get more stars than Bubble Bee. Let's see what Bubble Bee is going to do. Hmm. How are you today, Bubble Bee? Well, my arm is getting very tired. Bubble Bee, why is your arm getting tired? My mommy told me I have to write. I will not hit when I am mad. 100 times on this here piece of paper before I can play with my friend again. Wow! That's a lot of writing. Why did you hit your friend? Hitting is not something you should do to your friend. Because he made me mad. Because he made you mad? What did he do to make you mad? He lied to me. I asked him to come over and play. But he said he could not. Because he had to come to do his course. And I found out later that he was playing with pussy to house down. Oh, that hurts when someone lies to you and choose, chooses to play with someone other than you. Yeah, it, it hurts. Yes, I was very hurt and I went over there and asked him about it and he lied again. So, I hit him. Well, maybe your friend didn't want to hurt your feelings and tell you that he wanted to play with his other friends that morning. Maybe he thought you could get angry at him and hit him if he told you the truth. 
well bubble bay but hitting is never a way to solve your problem have you ever lied to your friend well yeah sometimes is it <laughs> so if you in, will you like if your friend found that you lied him and he came and hit you will you like it no he is bigger than me and it would hurt a lot hmm. see jesus has taught an example for us early in the morning just it was beginning to get light outside jesus appeared in the temple courts all the people that were there began to gather around him while he was teaching some pharisees brought a woman that they caught doing something bad and made a stand before everyone one of the pharisee asked to jesus teacher this woman was caught breaking the law and in the law of moses commanded us to stone her to death for her sin what do you say we should do the pharisees were trying to trap jesus if he could have said to follow the law and kill her he could be no difference than them but if he let her go he could not be following the commands of his religion what do you think jesus did at first jesus ignored them he bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger the pharisees won't let jesus not answer their questions so they kept asking him children friends do you know i asked few of your friends to write what did jesus write on the ground on the sand and do you want to know what did our friends wrote i will show to you okay see i i will show you what they have written see one wrote jesus could have wrote forgiver and the another person has wrote excuse her okay and the another person has written punisher less mm. and here another one give her a chance okay now you will be excited to know what jesus could have wrote on the sand isn't it okay see but finally jesus straightened up looked around at the crowd and said let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her then he stooped down again and continued to write on the ground one by one the people began to walk away until only jesus was left with the women till standing there jesus straightened up and asked her women where are they has no one condemned you no one sir she said then neither do i condemn you jesus declared go now and live your life of sin did jesus break the law of moses by not having her stoned to death no not long after that jesus gave his own life on the cross to pay for her sins and all our sins that's what we call mercy jesus showed mercy to this woman and he expected everyone else to do the same jesus said do not judge or you too will be judged for in the same way you judge others you will be judged and with the measure of you use it will be the measure to you matthew 7:1 says he also said blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy what does it mean to be merciful mercy is showing kindness to someone because you know that no one is perfect not even you it is not getting mad of mad at someone for doing something that you yourself also do something sometimes it is being understanding and forgiving that's fine bubble b so be careful you don't repeat that okay okay friends 
did you have a hit back somebody who did wrong towards you don't be like bubble bee see your mother or you somebody will give you some punishment like this okay don't could don't do bad for those who have done bad to you okay may god bless you see you next week bye bye